Hello! In this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to add different props, accessories, and clothing pieces to your VRM avatar using VRC Fury. All of the clothing pieces and accessories on my Gumroad here use VRC Fury and can be added in this method. Different assets from other creators that use VRC Fury can also be added with this method as well. Because VRC Fury requires the VRChat SDK, we're going to have to start off with the VRChat files for this. So for this demo, I'm going to be using the K9 avatar and downloading the VRChat Uni package that's located right here. Next up, I'm going to download any of the assets that I'd like to add to my avatar. So I'm going to be doing some of the clothing pieces from Clothing Pack 1 right here. Next, you'll need Creator Companion, and I'll put the links to the rest of these in the description below. Um, and you can download that here on the VRChat website. After that, you'll need VRC Fury, which you can get here. If you plan on using this avatar for streaming, I'd recommend using VC Face. And lastly, you'll need UniVRM. So that package is located down here, and I've been having some issues with the latest release, but if you'd like to give it a try, you can scroll down until you find the UniVRM Uni package. I'm going to be using this release though, and that's located right here. Once you have Creator Companion installed, it will prompt you to download the correct version of Uni. Once you have that installed, you can then go ahead and create a new project. Create an avatar project, name your project, and then select where you'd like that project to be created, then hit create project. If these aren't up to date, you can go ahead and update them, and then hit open project. Some of the things in this tutorial might take a little bit to load, so I'm going to go ahead and speed through those parts. Once Unity opens up, we can now import our packages. We're going to start by importing VRC Fury. Next up, we're going to import the VRChat avatar package. So again, I'm going to be doing the masculine canine package. Next, we're going to import the clothing pieces, props, or accessories that you'd like to add to your avatar. And lastly, we're going to import UniVRM. Once everything has finally finished importing into Unity, you can now open up the folder of the avatar that you imported. So in my case, it's going to be this masculine canine folder. Find something that looks like this symbol here and open it up. It should look a little something like this. Here's the avatar. Now I'm going to go back into the assets folder and I'm going to add those clothes that I imported earlier. So shorts and shirt. I'll start off with the shirt first. And then all you're going to need to do is find the prefab and drag it onto the avatar in the hierarchy like this. Now let's do the shorts and we're going to do the same thing. Next up, you're going to need to pick which parts of the avatar you would like for your VRM avatar. Some of my avatars are a bit different, but for the canine, we're going to get to choose between two tails and two different hairstyles. So this here is tail two, the floofy tail. And then this one here is tail one. Whichever tail you would like, you can deselect the other one. So I'm going to go with a fluffy tail. So I'm going to uncheck this checkbox here and then unhide the fluffy tail. For the hair, there is the mane and the mohawk. You can have both on at once if you'd like, but I'm just going to go with the mohawk. So I'm going to uncheck the mane here. Once you've added everything to your avatar, select your avatar on the hierarchy, go to the tools tab here, VRC Fury, and then hit build and editor test copy. We're going to select the original avatar in the hierarchy and uncheck this box here to hide it. Hit the drop down for your test copy and find the assets that you added and make sure they are not hidden. Now we're going to go up to the VRM tab, hit export, drag in your test copy, and then if this comes in in Japanese and you would like it to be English, you can select this drop down here to switch that. Ignore any errors that you see here, then hit make T pose. Now scroll down and you'll need to give a, a title, version, and author.
When that's done, you can hit export. Select where you'd like it to be exported to and then hit save. We're now going to go back into our assets folder and create a new folder by right clicking and selecting folder. You can give it a name. And now we're going to import our avatar into this folder. So to do that, go up to the VRM tab, hit import, and find where you saved out that uh, test copy. Now we can find the folder that we just made and save it in that. And this is just to keep things a little bit cleaner in our file. Once it's done importing, select that test copy and uncheck this. Now open up the folder that you just made and you should see this prefab right here. Drag that into the hierarchy and you'll see your avatar right here. It might look a little bit strange at first, but that's because we need to switch our material to the correct shader. The materials folder is probably going to be your fourth folder over, but you can see by clicking on the folder and it should say dot materials at the end. Open that up and select all of your materials. Go up here to the shader and then find VRM and then Mtune. Now we need to add some blend shapes to our avatar for the mouth and eye movement. Go back into your VRM avatar folder and find the blend shapes folder. It should say dot blend shapes at the end. Open that up and there will be a blend shape that's just called blend shape. Select that and this should open up. For these standard blend shapes, what we're going to do is select them, open up the body, and for A, I'll do this and let me just shrink this here. I, I'll do it. The blink blend shapes are located here in the by theme. And then let's do blink left and right while we're at it. Now we can go to look up. For these blend shapes here, joy, angry, sorrow, fun, they are all expressions that you can do in BC face. So you can technically select, set them to whatever expression that you would like. All of the expressions here are located in this expression tab and you can mix and match them uh, to be whatever you'd like. If you're going to be using full face tracking like I have here, you're going to need to create some additional blend shapes. Here's the full list here. I'm just going to show a few as an example, um, but make sure that you add them all here with the same capitalization. So to do this, let's hit create blend shape clip. We're going to rename it so we can start off with I look down left. Hit save. And now you'll see that blend shape here. Select it, find the body, and now scroll all the way down until you see a section called AR kit here. There's another section that's going to look similar and it's called VRC face tracking. These ones are for VR chat, so stick with the AR kit ones. So turn on eye blink left. Next step, we're going to do eye look in left. So yeah, just do these for the rest of them and then you'll be able to use face tracking. Once you've got to this point, you're ready to switch over to my other VRM upload tutorials. I'll put the links in the description and the timestamps to the different tutorials I have depending on which avatar you're uploading. Thank you so much for watching and if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me on Discord, Twitter, or through email.